if you feel like you are more introverted after this it's okay go easy on yourself you might just be feeling a little bit more sensitive you might be just feeling a little bit overwhelmed you might just need some time to be with yourself you might just need some time for stillness you might just need some time to recharge your batteries if you feel like you're more introverted in a verbal sense that's okay hello my loves and welcome back to another video of the kundalini series i'm so 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 grateful to have you here i also just wanted to thank every single person that has been watching these videos that has been supporting me that's been leaving a comment that's been liking that has been hitting the bell that has been subscribing i'm honestly so grateful i do lots of different kundalini content but i also do lifestyle content if you have any questions other topics that you want me to touch on please do leave it down in the comment section below in my last video i talked about how it's important to keep it sacred and be like very mindful about who you are sharing your kundalini experience with because not a lot of people understand so i just want this to be a safe place for everyone to come to and to talk about their experiences so you don't feel so alone because you can feel very alone during your experience i know i'm out here sharing my experience on the internet but I know the people that are watching these videos are the people that are seeking that support or seeking that resonance or seeking to be seen as well in their experience so this is the place for that it's a safe space head over to my channel I've got a whole playlist a whole kundalini series I'm going to be continuing to add to it over time eventually I'd like to get people who I personally know on the channel and actually share their kundalini experience as well so other people can kind of resonate with different experiences other than just mine because everyone experiences it different but yeah so today's video we're going to talk about the introverted side of a kundalini now i've had my kundalini awakening and it's been about a year and a half and ever since i've had my awakening i have been so much more introverted and i wanted to touch on this subject because if you are someone that hasn't necessarily been so introverted but you're wondering why you're being introverted why you're feeling like you're wanting to spend more time by yourself more so time inside more time away from a lot of people you might necessarily not like big crowds anymore you might find festivals really overwhelming. You might find just being out overwhelming. I just wanted to, this to be a video that you could come to and to just basically give yourself some grace. At the end of the day, it's all about honoring your experience. So I, myself, after my Kundalini awakening, have become so much more introverted. I was already introverted before, but I found I've been a lot more introverted. And it's not just a case of like being introverted and staying indoors. Like I'm more introverted when I do go out. And I have always been quite an observant person. Like if I'm in a big group of people, I don't like being the center of attention. I'd never like that. I would rather just sit back and observe. But I find it kind of hard to approach people and just make conversation. I don't know why. It's nothing to do with anybody personally. It's just I'm a bit shy. Um, people don't think that because I do these videos and stuff. But I'm talking to a camera right now. I can't see... The people that are watching this video so it doesn't feel so daunting for me but yeah like if anybody comes over and talks to me then i'm more than happy to get chatting and like you know the conversation can flow and stuff because i can talk a hell of a lot like i think we all know that by now if you followed me for all these years <sighs> the first like kind of thing that i've realized in, in all of this is it's really important to honor your experience if you feel like you are being more introverted honor that just really honor that because you know the kundalini awakening is a really intense powerful experience it's gonna bring up a lot for you you're gonna experience things differently life is gonna feel different your energy is gonna feel different your sensitivity levels are gonna feel different i talk about all the signs and symptoms of my kundalini awakening in a whole separate video which i'll link down below but it will be within the playlist there's a lot of things change like in your life you as a person you feel different you feel like you look at life differently and it is a lot to process so it's really important that you give yourself that time and you honor that you honor that experience that you've just had because you know it's very different it's quite a big deal it's a big deal Kundalini awakenings are massive deals like it's just important that you honor the energy if you're feeling a certain way respect it and feel into it and like if you are out in a big crowd and it is a bit overwhelming for you and you're feeling it like I can feel a lot because your sensitivity levels are going to be different you'll probably be feeling a lot of the energy around you within all the different people that are around you so if you're feeling that what can you do for yourself to calm yourself and bring your energy back take yourself out of that crowd find a way to like do something different go and sit in a coffee shop that's a lot more calmer or if it helps you put your headphones in and put your headphones in like so you're not hearing all the noise and you can kind of tune into yourself if you need to take more time for yourself if you need to have some time away from people just for the first few months then do it I know for myself when it first happened to me I was very much like keeping myself to myself I noticed that I wasn't necessarily oversharing as much as I used to and I've kind of been on a journey of trying to not do that anyway it's just coming to a place of like okay 
I do know that I need to be with myself. If I do see people, I just want it to be one-on-one or you might just find that smaller groups work better for you. And with honoring your experience, you're keeping your experience really sh- sacred. <laughs> I was going to say sacred. You're keeping your experience really sacred because again, it's a big deal. And a lot, not a lot of people understand, not a lot of people get kundalini awakenings it is an interesting energy for people to understand if they don't really know what it means or if they're not on the spiritual journey themselves or they've never heard of it before like i said i spoke about this in a previous video being very mindful about who you're sharing your experience with keep it close to your heart because the right people around you will support you the right people around you will understand if you need some time to yourself because the big part of the kundalini awakening is having a dark night of the soul afterwards I definitely experienced that. The people I know experienced that. Some people experienced it straight away. Some people it took a couple of months. With me, it took six months. Um, it could take a year. It really, it really depends on the person. But you know, if you're going through all of that, what do you need to do? You need to honor like how you're feeling. You need to honor that, and you need to keep it sacred. So having some time for you to be with yourself and be still. And this kind of unfolds into the next point, which is managing your energy. When you are feeling quite introverted and you're feeling like you want to kind of distance yourself from people, it it makes a lot of sense because I found for myself experiencing this Kundalini awakening, the veil lifted for me and I could see the truth in everything, not just myself, but everyone around me as well. So when you're seeing the truth in yourself, when you are so much more aware of yourself because the kundalini makes you so much more aware of yourself like you can't lie to yourself anymore it's really difficult to lie to yourself anymore being more aware of yourself and seeing the truth in yourself and then seeing the truth in others like it's a lot to process it's a lot to process it can feel very overwhelming for me i found that i just took a big step back from some people i took a massive step back from the spiritual community because i saw a lot of falseness there i almost find that the spiritual community i'm just going to say as a whole i know it's not everyone but there is a lot of ego driven spiritual people and it's very clear to see for me now and because of that I took a huge step back from the spiritual community so I needed to honor what I was seeing honor what was coming up for me and just learn to manage what I was seeing and learn to kind of process it as well but coming back to like managing your energy I've got a whole video on this on my playlist I basically talk about all these different practices that you can do to support yourself through your kundalini awakening so go check that out if you need that when you kind of go into yourself and you're kind of feeling a bit more introverted and feeling like you need to take some more time for yourself in that time you can learn to emotionally regulate you can learn to manage your energy it just gives you a bit of a break from the intensity of life because life may have got very intense for you after this awakening you know going out in nature practicing presence coming back down to your breath learning to ground yourself all of these things which are really easy to do it's just reminding yourself in the moment to do it because that's that I always find that like I need to remind myself sometimes when I'm in the moment I'm like oh I'm so like flustered but then I just need to like have a moment where I'm like it just switches and like what can I do for myself to make myself feel better what can I do to support myself in this moment and then tapping into the practices to help ground to help practice presence to help come back down into the body And it's a really good time to do it when you're feeling introverted. It's a really good time to like practice these things. So I almost found for me that the reason I kind of went more introverted is because I was seeing the truth of myself. So because I was seeing all these things about myself and I was realizing all this stuff about myself, there's already a lot to try and process. But then when you step outside and then you're seeing it in other people, and I've talked about this on my channel before, I won't go too much into it because you can watch it in my other videos. But um, I almost find that seeing it is really uncomfortable and you may see it in people that you actually know and it might change your mind on them you might be a little bit like hmm okay I didn't realize that you were like that it makes you a bit more cautious so I almost found that like I went in and I went more introverted I knew I had like people around me that I felt very close to I had very much trusted them I felt very supported by them and you know they were there for me and I was there for them and then they've just been people that have been like really long-term friends and people that I really truly see their authenticity and they show up authentically and I love that about them they're not all spiritual they're not they're not all like that they they're just really cool fucking real people okay they're just really cool real people keeping it real being themselves, living in integrity to who they really are and practicing what they preach in life, you know? So those people I did still see, but the people that I kind of was noticing these 
truths in I needed to just take a step back and recalibrate you know just kind of understand whether what I was seeing was actually that or whether it's something within myself because I always question if it's something within myself but I needed to go back in I needed to take that time being a bit more introverted it kind of gives you an opportunity to go inward and heal and grow but even if it means being introverted and actually just taking some time to not actually do any of the deeper spiritual work but you can just be you can just be you know just be you and just enjoy your time and just enjoy the peace enjoy the quiet going on from that honoring your time it's really important that you are mindful about who you spend your time with the best thing i could suggest is tap into how you feel after you've spent time with people when you spend time with people do you feel triggered do you feel drained do you feel exhausted after seeing them do you feel like your cup is empty do you feel like you're not feeling seen you're not feeling heard or you feel full you feel nourished you feel like your soul's just had a massage you know you felt you feel light you feel fluffy you feel you know just like really in your heart you feel really seen you feel really heard those two kind of yin and yang aspects you can really tell the difference when you spend time with people personally i believe so tapping into that gives you that awareness around who are your people and who aren't your people it doesn't necessarily mean that introverted means that you just need to not spend time with them if you want to actually be with them but you almost feel like maybe your experience that you're sharing isn't being honored then maybe just be a bit more introverted with your words with what you share you don't need to share everything you can just be a bit more mindful about what you're sharing sometimes it can be family members and that's what can be hard sometimes maybe just being a bit more mindful about what you're sharing with them so being introverted with your experience and keeping that sacred as i've said before it's overwhelming just experiencing the change in yourself alone it's overwhelming just experiencing the realizations about yourself alone it's overwhelming seeing the truth in yourself like seeing where you're not showing up in integrity seeing where you're not showing up in truth seeing where you're not showing up authentically it's uncomfortable seeing that shit imagine then how overwhelming it is then seeing it in other people being around other people and then seeing that in them and you're not only just trying to process your stuff but you're also trying to process the fact that you're seeing it in people that you might really love and care about and then it worries you and then you're just in this you know like this perpetual cycle of like realization after realization after realization and it can just be a lot so like just take some time like if you feel like you need to be a bit more secluded if that feels right for you do it for yourself um i'm not coming here to tell you you need to isolate yourself i'm coming here to say if you feel like that's what you've been feeling you've been recognizing that you've been struggling to go out as much and things like that like it will pass over time but like i said when you come to that place if you are taking that time for yourself use that time utilize that time to really work on managing your emotions emotionally regulating learning practices to keep you grounded in your body learning practices to draw your energy back into you actually i don't think i even mentioned that in that previous video to be fair drawing your energy back into you so keeping your auric field unpoppable keeping your auric field clean so there's no other energy seeping in the whole experience is just overwhelming (laughs) it will get easier but yeah when you learn to manage it will it will get easier when it's like the beginning it can be a lot to process and also across the whole experience you you are naturally more sensitive i don't know anybody that has experienced a kundalini awakening and doesn't experience the extreme level of sensitivity i've experienced crazy sensitivity since and because of that i find it hard sometimes being around big groups of people i find it hard sometimes just being around certain crowds around certain places around certain people I just find it overwhelming sometimes. I find it overwhelming even just living in this house sometimes because there's three other people that live here and there's a lot of different energies that come in and out of our house because we've got a big family. So it's almost like there's a lot of energies passing, coming and going. I tend to find it quite overwhelming sometimes and it's not that anybody's doing anything wrong. I just am so sensitive to the energy. I can really, really feel people. So because of that, I need to take time for myself. I need to just kind of go inward and then recharge to fill my cup back up so that I can be there. So when I am spending time with people, I am present, you know, I'm more full. I'm able to be there for someone if they need me. And if I'm filling my cup up, then, you know, I'm able to fill up other people's as well. And I'm full enough to be able to be grounded enough in an experience that could potentially be overwhelming if I have an empty cup, if that makes sense. I just think as a whole, honoring your whole experience really tapping into yourself and if you feel like you are more introverted after this it's okay go easy on yourself you might just be feeling a little bit more sensitive 
you might be just feeling a little bit overwhelmed you might just need some time to be with yourself you might just need some time for stillness you might just need some time to recharge your batteries if you feel like you're more introverted in a verbal sense that's okay you know the people that love you the people that care about you will understand that so if it just means for yourself you just feel like you just don't want to share as much again because the kundalini experience is a big deal it's quite out there so if people don't necessarily get it you might find that you go inward because you're sharing your experiences with people that don't understand it and they're looking at you funny or you can feel they're judging you you tend to like close off because you're like well people think I'm crazy when I'm sharing this so I just don't want to share it and then you kind of go into yourself because you're processing all this stuff but you've got no one to talk to about it find the right people to talk to I mentioned this in my previous video I've said this so many times in this video but just be wary of who you're sharing your experience with keep it sacred this is a place for you to share this is a place for you to talk so feel free to leave any comments down in the comment section below any questions that you have about kundalini I'm more than happy to answer them for you and yeah I think I'll close off this video please do stay tuned for the next video I post weekly and yeah I'm just sending you love on your experience sending you love on your journey give yourself grace take some time give yourself some love have some self-care pamper yourself nurture yourself love yourself in the ways that feel full and fulfilling for you and take that time to really be still and be with yourself and process and integrate everything because yeah this is it this is the start of a new chapter for you and you know i really send you so much love on your journey and i really hope that you know you move through it with grace and i really hope that these videos are supportive thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it this far i'm super super grateful it really really means the world to me stay tuned for next week's episode i'm sending you so much love have a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world Mwah. bye <laughs>